In the winter spring crop of 2023 to 2024, Mr. Luke planted nearly one hectare of rice. Currently, the rice plants are in the developmental stage and preparing to tiller and flower. However, the issue of rat infestation has been ongoing for many days, causing Mr. Luke great concern about the risk of plant death and reduced yield at harvest. He stated that in 2023, there were no major floods, so rats reproduced rapidly across the fields, damaging the rice plants during their growth stage. To proactively prevent rat manual rat trapping methods, using enclosures around the fields, as well as using pesticides and traps. In times without major floods, rat damage to rice crops is troublesome for people, and farmers spend a lot of money on trapping, but it is not very effective. Many farmers also mentioned that rats are a frequent and challenging pest on rice fields. In recent years, without major floods, rat populations have surged, causing damage to crops during the growing season. Currently, besides rat damage, some areas of rice fields are plagued by excessive weed growth. Despite applying weed control measures since the beginning of the crop season, weed growth has not been reduced. The usual herbicides don't work anymore, even after spraying sophisticated ones, the weeds are still not dying, so now we have to manually pull them out. According to the Provincial Plant Cultivation and Plant Protection Department, in the winter spring crop of 2023 to 2024, farmers in the province planted over 26,600 hectares of rice. Currently, Rice plants are in the tillering stage but are affected by rat damage on 643.5 hectares of land. Additionally, there are sporadic occurrences of other harmful pests such as stem borers, black bugs, stem borers, leaf rollers, and some areas of rice fields are infested with aquatic weeds. During this stage, it is possible to set up pitfall traps when water returns. Regarding disease prevention, the authorities advise timely coordination with localities to directly guide farmers on pest prevention and control. In some areas, the weeds are taller than the rice plants, making it difficult for farmers to manually weed. Additionally, weeding during the tillering stage will affect the rice plants. Therefore, it is recommended to wait a few days until the weeds flower before cutting them down to limit their growth for the next crop. Currently, localities in the province are actively promoting and mobilizing farmers to implement pest prevention measures, take care of crops to increase productivity, and achieve high yields at harvest.